Welcome to American Ninja Warrior. Only, we're in Minecraft. Many of you are already familiar with the Big Show, and here, we've built some of the obstacles that you have seen in these past seasons. And now, let's take a closer look at our course. We begin with Hopscotch, which was first seen in American Ninja Warrior Jr. Season 3. We then go on to the second obstacle, Overpass, which was first seen in American Ninja Warrior Season 13. We now have a split decision between Ender Dragon and Domino Effect. Ender Dragon is a direct replica of American Ninja Warrior Season 14's The Serpent, and Domino Effect made its debut in Season 13. Taking the position of Obstacle 5, we have Piston Plunge, which was seen in American Ninja Warrior Season 14's Qualifiers and Stage 2. And last but not least, we have the Warped Wall. You have the regular size 14 and a half foot work wall, and if you're feeling confident, you can tackle the mega wall for a chance to win $10. Now let's head on down to the start block and see who's gonna tackle our course. Starting the season off is Red Dream 4681 as it makes a cautious approach towards Hopscotch. There we go, and now we're gonna get our first look at Overpass. Taking a rather cautious approach, and let's see if it'll benefit him here. Oh no! Ah, uh, looks like he just slipped off the platform there. Let's take a quick look on how this season's gonna be broken down. All right, now let's go back down to the action. Who do we have next? Making his way up to the start block is Schmolt the Bull. He competed on American Jewelry Jr. Season 3. Let's see how well he's going to do here. Looking confident going through Hopscotch. Let's see how he's going to do here on Overpass. As you can see here, he's again taking a very cautious approach towards Overpass. He doesn't want to fall just like Red Dream did moments ago. So he's line up the dismount, and there we go. We're going to have a first look at split decision. Here's going to go. Domino effect. There we go. One, two, three, and he's done. Now on to this new obstacle called Robin Hood. Competitors have to take a bow and shoot an arrow at the target. That will trigger a piston and push out a platform for them to stand on. Now he has to make his way up the arrow and land on that platform. There we go. Now onto the trampoline and he makes it onto the ledge. Let's go. Now he just needs to make this round and he gets it. We're going to have a first look at Piston Plunge here tonight. On the big show, this is a really, really hot top obstacle. Only a handful of competitors made it past you. So on the third Piston. There we go. That was a tough one on the big show. Going for Piston number four. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Now he's on the final Piston. This one drops. There we go. Now he's on the dismount. Oh my, he's going for the mega wall. Let's see if he can get it and get that ten dollars. Ah, so close. That's a lot of just out of frustration. There he goes. With this. Now he has one try at the regular wall before he fails this obstacle. Here we go. Do we have our first finisher of the night? Yes, we will. Schmultable clears the course.
Well, that was exciting. Now let's head back to the start block and meet our next competitor. I wonder if he's going to be able to finish too. Making a very sneaky approach to the start block, we have Ninja O, oh, your Ninja Bro. Now I've played Minecraft with him before, and he's really, really good at Egg Wars. Let's see if any of that skill from Egg Wars will translate onto this course. And right off the bat, he's already skipping steps. Makes Hopscotch look easy. Onto Overpass, let's see what is... Oh my goodness! Wow! He's going to be the first one all night to try the Serpent, and there we go, he makes it! Made that look easy. Now let's see if what he's going to do here on Robin Hood. There we go, makes the top target. Ideally, you want to hit the top target as it's the easiest one to make it to the trampoline. Making a very unconventionally slow approach to this. Never mind, he goes straight to the ledge from there. On to Piston Plunge. Let's see how he's going to attack this obstacle. That's a nice first. Oh, he's on the second one now. Here we go, on to the third Piston. It's up, spots his jump. Piston number four makes it look easy. Let's go, piston number five. There you go. All he needs is a dismount. There you go. He goes off the regular wall. He's not even going to bother with the mega wall. He just wants a fast time. And there we go. Ninja. Oh, yeah, bro. Our second clear of the night. Well, that was a very surprising run out of Ninja. Oh, yeah, bro. Let's see if our next competitor can do just as well. Right now we have T Nugget 519. Now, I've never really seen him play Minecraft before. Let's see how well he can do on this challenging course. There we go. Using all the hopscotch steps, but he's doing it very, very fast. Here we go on to overpass. Again, taking the safer but slower approach to this obstacle. Nice. There we go. Just barely makes the dismount. He's gonna go. Oh, looks like he lagged a bit. Straight across domino effect onto Robin Hood. Oh, he's gonna shoot it from up there. Oh no, he misses it. No, 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 no. Oh! He didn't shoot the target and therefore he missed the dismount. Oh no. A very shocking fall indeed, but here we are going on to our next runner almost immediately. Right now we have Pro Power 2020 on the course, taking again a slow approach to Hopscotch, but he's doing it rather fast. Already has the bow in his hand, but he won't need that until he reaches Robin Hood. Oh, okay, that was very rude and disrespectful. He goes on the overpass, making it nice and smooth onto the third bar. See how he's going to make this transfer. There we go, nice. Making on to the third bar here. There we go. I just need to line up his dismount and go for it. There we go. See what he's gonna choose. And just like with many of our competitors tonight, he's going for a domino effect. See how he does on Robin Hood. Oh, this is the first one. That's okay, he can make it again. There we go. In the second arrow, he makes it onto the top target, which is the one that you want to hit, because then it's the easiest to go on the trampoline. Thing. Oh, and it looks like we have a little bit of obstruction from the camera. Don't know why that was there. Here we go. On to Piston Plunge. Makes it the second Piston pretty easily. On to the third. See if we make the transfer onto the fourth one. There we go. On to the last person. Oh, no! And he's down. Very nice run out of Pro Power, and we'll see him in the semifinals. And now for the final runner of the day, we have Sunny 31818. And he's going to go right into it onto Hopscotch. Here we go. There we go, taking the fast inside route, only using three of the steps onto overpass. Based on how he did on Hopscotch, this should be a piece of cake for him. Oh, no, I jinxed him! And with that, our episode concludes. Next time on Minecraft Ninja War, you will meet six new competitors, and you will see even more obstacles.
But until then, I'm Jacob Bernstein. I'll see you next time on Minecraft Ninja Warrior.